Hi, Daniel again. Uh, welcome to the second tutorial uh, video of, of uh, Content Creator. And in these videos, I will go into the uh, tutorial, the how-to videos of um, the second steps in the three steps, uh, Content Creation Workflows. And that would be to choose the right keyword, keyword to include steps, and to choose the right keyword um, to include in the content that you will write, right? Um, before I go into the details, uh, let me briefly say a little bit on the kind of mechanism behind this and why we believe this is a very important step. Uh, first of all, is that you want to be able to know what keyword that help your competitor kind of rank on top. So we first things we do is that we, we scan through the content of the competitor and we look for um, keywords that they focus on. Um, they put in their content, they have focus of their SEO on that. And then we kind of put on the second filter where we want to make sure that those keywords have the search volumes in the Google Keyword Database. Because you see a lot of tools out there, they would provide you with all this keyword that is one word. And it's sometimes it's like two or the or a or n. Um, they don't really have any meaning. And whether you include it or not, shouldn't, you know, Google is a lot smarter than that. Right, um, Google is not going to rank your content just because you have an extra word like the or an or not or no, you know. Um, it should be a word that already have search volume. It should be a word that actually represent the demand of the users. So that would be the first uh, tab, as you can see here, is competitor keywords. So we call it competitor keywords. Essentially, is an NLP terms. Right. Um, we use our own. We have to create our own uh, natural language processing algorithm. Uh, go into each the competitor content, looking through entire content that they wrote and all of the keyword in which that was used a lot. Like this keyword, weight loss. When you talk about nutrition plan, they talk about a lot about weight loss. Forty three total usage and one was used in in, in the heading. Uh, or they talk a lot, a lot about meal plans, right? 34 total usage, nine uses in headings. Well, this is a very important keyword, obviously, um, when you go to nutrition plan, um, dash diet, you know, on and um, so on and so forth. And this is uh, kind of organized with general usage, right? So that's the first, that's the first mechanism. The second mechanism we call is opportunity keywords. And opportunity keywords are keyword in which your computer may not have yet in their content, but it's available on Google keyword database. So these are the keyword in which we find um, that are available in Google keyword database that could be a very potential and opportunity keyword you could add on to the content that you write. And remember, this keyword list, they are here, but it doesn't mean that if you include, include all of them, Google will rank for you. This keyword just represent one factor. The main and the key factor is always about how good and how valuable and how quality the content that you write at the end is to the end users and whether or not it was optimized. Do they do they have all the entities needed? Um, do they um, do they structure in a way that is very well put together? All the headings are clear. Um, do you follow all the rules uh, of Google requirements and the add-on, the nice to have, is to include all the keywords that you show Googlebot, you know what you're talking about, and you kind of show them that these are the keywords that I'm targeting, right? It's very important because you want to communicate to Googlebot as well as you want to make sure still that your content is valuable to the end users. Uh, those are the two key points. So a lot of people may, may um, mistake in that, oh, I just going to include all of these keywords in our content and, uh, and, and, and Google bot will be, will, will rank us on top. Okay. And you know what? Maybe sometimes it works for a keyword that is very, uh, non-competing and sometimes it works, but it very rarely it works. And it, I guarantee you it will hundred percent will not work in the long run. Okay. Um, do not, I recommend, highly recommend against doing that. Okay. Choose the keyword that fit with the content that you built in the first step, you build the outlines, you know what you talk about, you know what keyword will support it. And now you go in here and you see these are all the keyword that your competitor targeting includes some of the keyword that support your content outlines, right? Okay. So you have, you break down here again, 
two panel. The second panel, this is the 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 the, the finalized the result panel. This is where you want you will see whatever it is in here are the keywords you will be to include. These are all the keyword to consider. These are the keyword that you see. And it breaks down into two tabs. The first is competitor keywords. And second is opportunity keywords. Competitor keywords, again, is a keyword that we extract from content of your competitor, top 20 competitors. Um, you click on any of these keywords, you'll be able to see that the content will pop out. And in here, you will see the keyword weight loss. These are general information. These are general use. These are how many times it was used. Volume search, excuse me volume search, uh, how relevant it is compared to the main keyword. Uh, we have, um, so these are the way it lay out. We show you where this keyword was used and we highlight it for you. So you scroll down, very easy to see in this kind of interface. Um, if you find these keywords good and you find that it will support the content, the outlines that you built in the previous step, simply click add and it will appear on this uh, tab. Right. Um, I would suggest to not use it for 45 usage. We're, we're still in the process of optimizing this, but don't include like to this many level, maybe 10, let's say. Maybe 10. Okay, just click yes, and it will, oh, this one probably. Okay, so you use nine or 10 here, whatever. So if you set up here, it will change over here as well. Okay, um, you can move it to keyword here or you can just click close and scroll down whatever keyword you like, click on it and you'll be able to see how your top competitor are using in their content. Um, see, this estimate nearly having an attempt to lose weight each year. One of the best way to lose weight is by changing your diet plan based. Very good content you can utilize later on in your content writing. Um, if you like this, you can also add on to here. Um, also, go click on opportunity keyword. You'll be able to see all the keyword here um, uh, that are what we found from Google Keyword Database that relative that quite relevant, closely relevant to nutrition plan. Uh, and your competitor may not yet discover or may not yet include in their content. So let's say you want to say running diet or workout meal plan. That's pretty good. You just click add and it will appear here. We set over here, this is, a, this is the amount of time you want that keyword to appear in your content at the end, right? Zero over six. Um, so if you want to change this, now let's move to the, um, the, the right panel. If you want to change, simply click on this edit button and you will to change the amount of, of, of time usage. That, um, seven, right? Or you can enter your own keyword here. So let's say nutrition plan for children. Let's say I want to include that keyword. You set up the usage, click add, and it will appear here. Um, then what's cool here is you remember in the previous tutorial when during follow our workflows, you have to go through keyword import. Um, uh, and using keyword cluster to group keyword with similar uh, ranking probability and intent together so that you, when you write a piece of content, you can actually include all those keyword in that article. So you increase the chance of ranking for multiple keyword, right? And that is where we have the button called import from list in the top corner of the tool, top right corner, simply click on it and you can just import from list here. Oh, I don't have any list now, but the idea is once you have a list of that keyword that should be included in this article, you just click, just import it into this list and it will appear here. Then you can change the usage, whatever, whichever way you would like those uh, keywords to appear on the, on the content writing. And that's it. These are all of the keyword will appear as you click save and begin writing. It will appear here on the right panel. And these are all of the keyword that you want. And the, the, the amount of time in which the keyword will appear. So that is all for keyword to include. Um, and at any given moment, you would like, when you see some keyword here that you, hey, you know, what? I want to really add this, but I don't have that to, the keyword doesn't really support my outlines and the, the content which I plan to write. You can just go back to the first 
uh, step and maybe change a bit of your outlines here so that you can include that keyword in your content as well. So very flexible, move back and forth between the two, extremely easy. Um, one more thing, sorry, is um, you see, you can click on this and recall what is this? And there's a button called reset to default. So at any moment, you, you'll find that you've added too many keywords and sometimes somehow you don't like them and you want to restart over again, you just click reset and that will kind of return all this keyword into the um, general, the, the first set. So let's say when you first get in these steps, right, we have a list of keywords that already appear here. Those are the keywords in which we propose you should have based on the algorithm measure here. But it doesn't mean that it will guarantee you 100% to rank. It always, the keyword is to support the content you write, right? The keyword isn't to, uh, to be there to ask the determined factor of your ranking. The content you write at the end is the determined factor, right? And the outlines you have is the determined factor. And keyword here are what we kind of build so that you have a presetting of the things that, that you will write. For example, if you, we, we kind of calculate and we see Fairline issues is something that a lot of people use but it doesn't necessarily mean that it should fit with your content. Just delete them, right? Fitness plan, healthy eating plan, nope, delete them. My plate plan, delete them, right? Keep only the keyword that support the content that you will write. It has to, it has, if it's there, meaning that you have the keyword that you focus, you communicate that with Googlebot. And not only that, your content flow is well drafted, well crafted, and well planned. Um, and that's the sign of a very successful content. All right, so thank you very much for listening in. That would be the tutorial for our Keyword to Include panel. Uh, the next video is about the how-to uh, videos of content writing. In these videos though, I have left out uh, one very important function in which we believe every content writer in the 21st century should know. That is the use and the integration with Google NLP uh, API. And right as end of the moment is uh, have integrated with Google API to provide you with a third tab over here in which I will go in depth of why it's so important and it's crucial for whatever content you're using. And it's a crucial way to communicate with Googlebot so that they can quickly understand the content and the context in which you try to communicate. And that way they will be able to set your rank even faster than how it should be. Right. Um, so you can access that videos in our tutorial library under key features and that would be Google NLP over there. Um, all right. So I'll see you in that videos or in the next video, which is content writing. Thank you very much for listening in.